Welcome to our Wix tutorials. Today, we will learn how to increase or decrease inventory using Postman with Wix API. For more motivation to make further videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. Instead of wasting a lot of time changing the inventory of each variant manually, you can do it quickly by using Wix API. The process of changing the inventory includes six steps. Step 1. Generate API credentials from the Wix developer website. Step 2. Refresh the access token using Postman. Step 3. Get the product ID and the variant ID. Step 4. Increase inventory using Postman. Step 5. Verify the result. Step 6. Decrease inventory using Postman. Now, take the first step, generate API credentials from the Wix developer website. If this is the first time you make a call in the Postman, you must generate API credentials from the Wix developer's website. You can watch this video to learn how to access Wix API. Now, take the second step, refresh the access token using Postman. Wix's access token is only valid for 5 minutes, so you need to use the refresh token to request a new access token. At Postman, create a new post with this URL. In the body section, enter the code. I will leave the code in the description. For more information about the code, please read the blog in the description. Then click send. The postman will return a new access token and a new refresh token. Now, take the third step, get the product ID, and get the variant ID. First, we will get the product ID. From the Wix dashboard, Go to Store Products and choose Products. Click on a product that you want to see. Copy the product ID in the URL. Besides, BHEXA will show you the product variant information and the inventory of that variant. So you can see the inventory change in Step 4. Scroll down to the Manage Variants section. As you can see, the variant we will get the ID is small black, and it has two product variants in stock. Before changing the inventory of the variant, you need to get the variant ID. The variant ID doesn't show in the dashboard or Wix store. To get the variant ID you need to use API. Go to the Postman. Then create a new post with this endpoint. In the header, remember to enter the authorization in the key section and the access token in the value section. In the body, enter the code. I will leave the code in the description. In this call, you must ensure that you are granted permission to read the products. Then click send. As you can see, the postman returned the variant information like this. Copy the variant ID to use in the next call. Now, we will increase inventory using Postman. Create a new post with this endpoint. In the header, remember to enter the authorization in the key section and the access token in the value section. In the body, enter the code. I will leave the code in the description. Then click send. The postman returned the empty array, it means the quantity of the variant has been increased. After increasing the inventory of the product variant, you can see the result in the Wix dashboard. From the Wix dashboard, go to Store Products and choose Products. Click on the product that you just increased the inventory. Scroll down to the Manage Variants section. As you can see, the quantity of small black has increased from 2 to 12. With the inventory decrement call, you can do the same with step 4, remember to change the URL and payload. Those are all steps to increase or decrease inventory using Postman with Wix API. In case, you have any wonders about Wix, or you want to research Wix API integration, you can visit behexa.com.
We have tons of Wix integrated solutions for many types of business, such as Wix Amazon integration, Wix Square integration, Wix SAP B1 integration, or Wix Salesforce integration. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video about Wix API. If you have any suggestions or questions, let us know in the comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Behigsa. Connecting applications, automating processes.